Question number one, how did you get interested in the art of video games and decide to become a video game artist? Um, I have been drawing since I could remember. As soon as I could hold a pencil, I have been drawing, so I was always interested in art. But the idea of becoming a video game artist really didn't hit me until I saw the film Toy Story. And it's something very interesting happened when I saw it. It sort of clicked. I knew that I wanted to go to school for computer animation. So that led me to college where I pursued a degree in computer animation. And my first job after college was working on video games. So that's how I became a video game artist. Question number two, what kind of training do you need to become a video game artist? Well, you definitely have to go to college for either computer science or you have to go to college for computer animation. So you go to computer animation schools if you want to do art and computer science if you want to do more of the programming and engineering, software engineering behind video games. Question number three. What is the most challenging part of your job and what part of your job do you enjoy the most? Um, the most challenging part of my job is when there are bugs in the game and that's when something isn't working properly and we don't quite know why. So the most challenging part of that is doing the troubleshooting and trying to figure out why a feature or something in the game is just not working right. The part of my job that I enjoy the most, I think when the game gets out to market and people start playing it, and I know other people are playing my games and I'm hearing feedback about what they liked, what they didn't like, you know, knowing that people are interacting with my art, it's probably the funnest part of my job. Question number four. What question do you, what advice do you have for kids who are interested in becoming part of the video game industry and specifically for those who want to be a video game artist. Um, my main advice is to pay attention in school and learn as much as possible. Um, there's so many different areas of knowledge that are needed to be a good video game artist. For example, um, if I need to make rain in a game, I need to understand how rain works, um, what sort of physical properties rain has, what sort of um, physics or math is going to be needed to simulate the, sh the movement of rain. So understanding so many different facets of, of how the world works is important. So being a well-rounded student is probably the most important thing you could do to become a video game artist because all of those, all that knowledge will come together when you're trying to create a virtual world. Number five, what is your favorite game and why? I would say my favorite game still is Super Mario Brothers <laughs> um, for Nintendo. Uh, that was just sort of one of the first immersive fun worlds that I got to play in as a young child. And I still get, you know, happy and little goosebumps every time I see the game and I get to play it. So I still love the classics. Um, the new games are fun and they're really pretty, but you really can't beat a good Mario Brothers. That's it. Thank you.